Hi everyone, my name is Ben. Uh, today I thought I would give a quick tutorial on how you might be able to customize your position uh, beyond sort of this default spot strategy um, with across 69 bins and with the, the price in the center. So some of you have been asking, well, what if I want a tighter range, right? And so one way you can uh, specify a tighter range is that you can actually type in the min max price number below and so if you see if I did this and I say it's say I wanted to do 83.1, um, I'd hit tab, and then you can see that the min price jumps to 83.16. Here it is. And that um, another way you can do is you can drag these scroll bars to reduce the number of bins in your range. And you can see here I've sort of equalized it. It's smaller number of bins, 27 bins, and it's with the current price uh, still in the center. Now, some people may not want to put the current price in the center. And the reason for that is that you may think you may have um, you may think that the price is more likely to go in one direction than the other. So let's say, for instance, um, I think you know the price of Sol USDC is 84, it's low, and it's more likely to go higher than it is to go lower. So I may want to increase uh, um, my price range so that my current range um, puts the current price uh, more towards uh, the, uh, the, the lower end of the range. And that would give me more range uh, and an ability to capture if, if the price of sold were going to go up. Now, one thing you might note here is that uh, the heights are different, right? And the reason for that is that um, by default, uh, with the autofill checked in, uh, if you want to deposit 10 USDC, uh, will the UI will automatically put in $10 worth of SOL. And the reason why the heights are different is that you know the USDC is distributed over fewer bins than the SOL is. And so, if there's more bins, you know there's less you can put in each bin, and thus the height is lower. Now, smaller heights mean that you know less less money is being made in fees because there's less liquidity. So you may want to say, hey, look, actually, I want to put an equal distribution of, of soul uh, in each price point. So I'm capturing uh, just as much, many fees as, uh, as I am when, I, when, when the current price is kind of in this blue area where my USDC assets are. And the way to do that is you would uncheck autofill. And then what you now can do is you can start to increase the amount of soul you want and you'll see that um, as I do that, so I, I increased it, uh, the amount of the amount of um, uh, liquidity in these bins sort of equalized with with the amount of USDC. Now this is a live UI, so the price is changing, and so you can see that um, uh, as the price is moving across bins, this is sort of adjusting. Um, you may want to tweak that a little bit. Maybe maybe you put in you know more. Um, or less if you want to put equal distributions here. But you know the key thing here is that you uncheck autofill and that allows you to put any amount in either side. Uh, and so all you would need to do now is just hit add liquidity and you know wait for your uh, transaction to confirm and then uh, you would have um, uh, <clears throat> you would have your position created. So we'll just wait a minute before that happens. Okay, cool, so that was done. Now, uh, one neat thing to show you too is that you can also stack strategies. So let's say I want to add 10 uh, more. We'll uncheck this and then um, you know, put this equal, sort of equal distribution here. Now, um, if you notice, maybe this price isn't moving as much. It's, it's kind of sticking near this area. Um, what you can do is stack strategies, and you may you can like sort of add curve, and that will allow you to put more liquidity around this current price, right? And what that would do for you is you would be able to earn more fees because you just have more liquidity here.